All right, guys, this is going to be a very quick video on the basics of making your lawnmower fast. Also, I will show you a little bit about the Barbie Jeep. Let's start off with the uh, the lawnmower here. This here is the well-known lawnmower that has made my channel, the Offroad Murray, which has recently got a new motor. Um, how does it go fast? First thing I want to state, it has nothing to do with the engine. All the engine does is it gets you up there, okay? You don't understand what I mean? Think like this. You could use a weed eater engine and go the same speed, okay? The only thing is it would take you 10 minutes to get there. And it possibly would not keep up. All a bigger motor does is it gets you up there faster. So let's say you're starting from, okay, you got your carpet here. If you're using a little three horsepower Briggs, like that little motor right there, little you bitty thing, see the size of the tire, tire the size of the engine. There we go, that's a better view. That little itty bitty motor right there. And you start from here, okay, you got some in socks, like a carpet in here. <laughs> um, you start from here, and you get to here, okay, let's say it's going to take uh, 15 seconds with that little itty bitty motor, okay. We're talking something small. Okay, I'm not saying a lawnmower. It's just a for instance. Now you have this gigantic 18 horsepower V-twin. So we're saying what? It takes... I don't even remember what I said. Alright, let's say it takes 30 seconds for the uh, three horse brakes. I have no idea what I said. I forgot already. Um, the V-twin will take somewhere around six times as fast as that. Okay, because it's six... Almost six times the horsepower. Um... That was way too complicated for no reason. I don't know why I did that. So, let's say, right, we're going to round it to five five times. Um, you do that, obviously, it's going to be three seconds. Did I do that right? I did not do that right. Anyway, short term answer here is, it's faster. It doesn't take as long to get there. You want to go 100 miles per hour, It'll take you 20 seconds to get there with a bigger motor, whereas if you had an itty bitty motor, it would take an, a half hour to get there. That's all there is to it. Anyway, the basics of how you do it. All right, got the tools here. We got to pull a couple parts off to show you because this thing is obviously an off road mower and it's covered in mud right now. We got to pull the uh, skid plate off, a couple bolts. I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll show you what you do. All right, here we go. We got this plate off here, and man, she has seen some better days. Give her a coat of paint. All right. So, underneath here, I got a series of pulleys and belt, or in a belt, and all your good stuff. So, uh, I guess this isn't a really good example. I need to have another one to compare it to. Uh, I don't think what I have out there I can show you. So, up here we have a 6 inch pulley. Back here we have a 4 inch pulley. Okay? All that means, all the 4 inches is, is obviously the diameter of the pulley. 6 inch is 6 inch diameter. 4 inch is 4 inch diameter. Really simple. Something. Okay. Here we go. So. Pretty much here's your, this is an example, this is your engine on your lawnmower, this is your rear end. Okay. I might actually have a better example. Man, I hate when I do this. I know you guys do too, because I'm just sitting here thinking as I go. Um, alright. Basics. This is your engine, and I will give you the stock specs on a lawnmower. So, your front is going to have, most likely anyway, it will have a three- and a half inch pulley so your three and a half inch pulley will be sitting up here chilling this is obviously not a three and a half inch pulley this is about a three and a half inch pulley anyway three and a half inch four and a half inch pulley will be in that area some more is different mtds are different but most of them are in the back you will have a eight and a half to nine inch pulley some may be eight okay some 
Um, and so maybe five, because the MTDs, now they have that stupid speed shift thing that's absolutely garbage. You can't do any, you can't have fun with them. They're meant for cutting the grass. It sucks. You know? Why do they have to build a lawnmower for a lawnmower? You know, you can't have any fun with them. Anyway, so boom. Miniature pulley, big pulley, obviously. Four inch, eight inch, or nine inch. We're going to round them here. Well, if you think about it, this pulley here is going to have to turn several times to equal one turn back here you do that math it comes out to be really slow okay just know that small pulley on engine bigger pulley in the back means slow this goes for anything even a mini bike if you have a smaller sprocket which I have it all covered up now if you have a smaller sprocket in the front and a bigger sprocket in the back your wheels going to turn slower than your motor if they're the same size, it's going to go the same. Your end, your wheel will turn the exact same RPM or speed as your engine, as your flywheel. Okay, same goes with the lawnmower, except for it's got a five-speed transmission in it, so it gears it down even more, which the bigger tires make up for it. In most cases, very simple. Smaller pulley, bigger pulley equals slower. A lawnmower, a one or the original lawnmower configuration. Most of them, at least this model, I did a speed test before I did all this. Obviously, I would. Um, it came out to be about 4 point, 4, it was like 4.5 mi miles per hour. Okay. Um, what a lot of people do is they'll go ahead and take the governor off their motor and leave the pulley stock. There's one, that, that works. There's one flaw with that system. All of a sudden, your motor is now... It used to run 3,600 RPMs, but if you take the governor off, you could be running anywhere up to 10 grand, you know? And that's over three times the, or, or that's three times the RPM, you know? And these junk little connecting rods that Briggs and Stratton and China and whoever else builds engines, they're not meant for that. So when you go putting all that, that load from RPM on your rods, it blows up. And you only gain like a, a whole four mile per hour. You only do like maybe ten mile per hour max. It's not worth it. It will take maybe fifty dollars. Maybe. Okay? If you're like me, I picked this lawnmower for thirty bucks. And well, I'll go ahead and tell you, six hundred dollars later you have this. But uh as far as the basics, it doesn't cost any more than maybe $50 to make your lawnmower faster. You can even keep the stock wheels on it. They'll put up with it. Trust me. I've. <laughs> you don't believe me. Watch my videos. You'll see it. Anyway, here's the process. So, we already established. Four inch in the front. Three and a half, four inch in the front. Eight and a half, nine inch in the back. Very simple. Go to your local hardware store. Your engine shaft is most likely a one inch. Okay. Go up to the store. This stuff I should have repaired. Buy yourself one of these. Okay. It's sitting on the hardware shelf. If they ask, tell them you need a one inch diameter hub for a pulley. They might know. I got this one at Tractor Supply. Okay. Super simple. Then you will go up and you will buy your pulley. Um, depending on what you're building, if you want your stuff to go super fast, you're going to go, and you go bigger. But this is a 6-inch pulley, which is perfect for off-roading. A 6-inch pulley, you buy it for this hub. It'll be in the same section. You put it on. Boom. You take it. You know somebody has a welder? You weld it on. Very simple. It's worth it. Trust me. Save you a lot of time and money. You just go and buy the uh, weld it yourself once. Um, I had to cut out the frame here of the grinder. Very simple. And then the back. Back, same way. Guess what that is back there? I'll try to zoom in on it. Same hub. Only difference is, instead of a 1-inch shaft on these lawnmowers, it's a 5 8 shaft. And the size pulley is a 4-inch. A 6 and a 4. A six and a four with an ungoverned motor got me 35 mile per hour. I'm pretty sure I made a video on top speed run with this mower. If I didn't, well, there you go. You guys know the top speed of this mower. Um, 
with the governor, you're going to get roughly 28 mile per hour. 28 mile per hour of a lawnmower is seven times the speed that it originally went. It's amazing. Trust me. No need to go further. 28 mile per hour. Think about it. It's fast. It's fun. It's furious. And with this trash lawnmower front end thing that, you know, a lawnmower came with, they don't like going that fast, so no reason to go over it. Now, if you want to take it the whole next step, remove the governor. Now, I want to go ahead and tell you guys, do this at your own risk. I am not responsible for blowing up motors. Okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull this hood off. I'll show you how to do it on the V-Twin, at least how I did it. I don't have any singles sitting in here, else I'll show you how to do it on a single. I think I've made a video on it before. But I want to show you guys how to do it on V-Twin. So I'll be right back at the end in a minute. And a couple seconds later, the hood's off. So here we are with our V-Twin. Now, you know, I'm super hillbilly and redneck and, you know, whatever you want to call me. So I use a handbrake. It works too well not to use it. It's not worth wasting the time welding up some magnificent gas pedal thing that looks ugly. Okay, that looks fine. It works fine. So, what did I do? On your engine, there will be something that looks kind of like this. It's this big, huge thing with this little clamp-looking thing that comes out of the crankcase. Okay, you'll see that. So, trace the little rod. It's going to have a little metal rod that goes from here up to your little butterfly thing. Okay, pull that rod off. Um, destroy it, whatever you want to do with it, because you're never going to need it again if you are governing, governing your motor. This was the whole throttle play assembly. I took a grinder and just removed it. It had a big, huge thing, whatever on it. I removed it all. I took a bicycle brake, can brake cable. I ran it up through there, through the little hole where the rod went in. I put a crimp on it. Simple. Something you need to do. Don't even fire up your engine for a cold start without this. Put a spring on it. Test it. Make sure it comes back to this idle screw, your govern your throttle butterfly plate thing. You see how it returns? You hear that little click? Listen for the click. If it doesn't click, don't fire your engine up. Even if you're not using a throttle, put a spring on it. Tie the throttle closed. Make sure it's idle when you test run an engine. Okay, if it's got the governor on it, you're probably good to go. But if you're doing a first run on a motor without any of this hooked up, make sure you have something holding the engine throttle close. I've already blown up a motor once doing it. I had, um, the, the linkage actually came disconnected on me, and the butterfly went wide open, and I couldn't get the key quick enough to kill it, and it, it, blew, the, it blew the rod right out the side of the motor. So, now... What's the secret on keeping one of these motors together at high RPM? There's only one thing. It's called load. Okay? If you're going to run a motor at high RPM, make sure you have load on it. It works. I don't understand how because the motor's still running high RPM. It's actually harder on it if you think about it. I don't understand it. It works. When you are running it full bore or whatever you have you... Don't be doing it in first gear. If you want to go faster, common sense, shift. Okay? If that doesn't do it for you, then you need to go farther with your pulley swap. Okay? It's very simple. So, if you hear your motor starting to get, oh, pretty high up there. Okay? Higher than you hear it when you're cutting your grass, you know? <laughs> you hear that engine speed? Once you get above that, you probably should go ahead and shift. Now, once you're in your final gear, and you're, let's say you're doing a top speed run, there's no other way to say it. Give it all it's got. It isn't going to hurt it. I'm not going to say that for everything, because it can blow. It's a it's a piece of machinery. It can blow at any time, any way, shape, or form. It works for me. Make sure you're in your highest, fastest gear under load. You'll hear it when your motor's bogging. Okay? Super simple. That'll keep your motor together. All right. Um, what's another way to make your mower faster? You can easily put bigger tires on. If you want to, you can 
take a sawzall, cut the whole side of the mower off. I don't care. It don't matter. You put wheels that big on it. I'm going to tell you, if you have stock pulleys with the governor and you put those tires on it, you're probably going to gain about 5 miles per hour, okay? Now, you do that with the pulley swap. If I was to do it with this mower, I could probably get 40 miles per hour out of this mower. Um, probably no problem. So, bigger tires. That is another way to do it. Now, if you want to get expensive, you can pull the transmission apart and change gears out. You can have take it to a machine shop or something stupid and have them... Uh, make a new sprock or a new new gear. I don't understand why you would do that, but you can have it done. Um, there's there's other ways to do it. I have to think about them, but um, that is a very basic way. Even on this mower over here, this is a really old tractor that I I fully swapped and restored. You guys seen the videos? If you not? Know check them out in my channel. Um, it had a little. I think it was a three. It was just a three inch pulley. I put a 6 inch on it, left the stock one in the back, oh man, this thing probably goes 15 miles per hour. Um, and it's got the diesel on it that goes up to 4,000 RPM, it's fun. <laughs> but overall, that's a, that's a super simple version, it's the most simplified version of making a lot more fast as I can think of. Now you can even take your stock pulleys, um, I, I had one I made, I, I, I showed it in another video. But you have your stock lawnmower pulley. It has like a pulley. I don't know. You'll see kind of like a really big pulley on the bottom and a little pulley on the top. You know, kind of look like this. There'll be like a shaft in the center. Um, there's, no, <laughs> there's not a good example in here. Um, yeah, that ain't going to get um, it's, it. It's just like a little. It's like a little tube. Okay, it'll kind of sit like this. Your the big pulley will be on top. Little bit of pulley on the bottom. If you really want to, I've done it before. You can cut all the welds off of those pulleys, flip them. Super simple. And weld it back on. Guess how much that costs you? If you have a welder, it'll cost you absolutely nothing. Okay? And most likely, these are 6-inch pulleys. Okay? So you don't even have to go up and buy a pulley or a collar. So your front pulley, it's super simple, already done. The back one, you're going to need the parts. You can sometimes use the hub that's already there if you want to do all the work to cut it off and weld a new pulley onto it and just buy a pulley. If you were to do it all yourself using as many original parts as you possibly could, it's going to cost you around $10 to make your lawnmower faster. And the governor, if you have an old bicycle laying around, all the parts are there. All you need is the bicycle brake handle and the little cable. All you do is remove stuff. Remove stuff is like so simple. <laughs> Take a grinder and chop it off, you know. So it, it could literally cost you probably, yeah, I would say probably $15 to pull swap your mower if you use everything. If you want to just go buy everything and make it super simple, it's going to cost about $50. Okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and move on to the Barbie Jeep now. Why is this little beast a beast? Why is it the speed demon monster torque little thing that it is and it's only a six horsepower engine this wore out um very simple it's uh this right here and i want to pull this cover off and i want to show you guys what's going on in there just give me a minute all right here we are i got the cover off crammed in here i could have moved it over but i didn't um yeah so what's going on in here this is something you can buy off eBay. It's called a torque converter. It's a Series 40 torque converter. This is probably one of the best things for a go-kart, mini bike, something like that, I think I've ever seen. This turns this little itty bitty trash Honda motor, Honda knockoff motor, which are good. What am I saying? They're good from the beginning. But... You put something together like on a go-kart or something, you put one of these little $15 Amazon trash garbage clutch things on there, they do okay, okay? And they burn up real quick if you have like a really tall gearing. You put this on there, it turn, it, it, it's like adding like five shots of nitrous to your go-kart promise i promise you it does 
This one ran roughly $55, I believe, on eBay. Uh, they're more expensive on Amazon. I really don't understand why. It obviously needs a new belt. What this does is this is a torque converter. It's it's like having a in or uh, I don't even know how many gears. A million gears with two little pulleys. And this thing weighs almost nothing. All you have to do, or what way it works is this little clutch pulley thing. It starts off in the lower gearing. And um, as we said earlier, a smaller pulley in the front, bigger pulley in the back. What do you have? You have no speed. Now, there is something to write note about this. When you have this configuration, you have a lot of torque. Okay, it makes you do donuts, burnouts, wheelies, whatever you like to do. A smaller gearing will do it. And towing. Towing is a lot better. You get a lot more torque. Um, with the with the smaller one in the front and the bigger one in the back. Note that. Um, now, when you, uh, like we said before, when you sh uh, shrink the one in the back and make the one in the bigger, or one in the front bigger, what do you have? You have a lot of speed. This little thing here does it all. It start when you take off. It's in this gear pattern. So you're doing wheelies and donuts. A couple minutes later, you're going 20 mile per hour or so. This thing shifts. When it shifts, you're doing 45. You know what I mean? It, it, it's insane. My my bad. My phone's running dead, so I, my the light went off. But that is, it's worth it. Don't waste your money on those little pieces of trash clutches. If you're after a little mini bike or something, they're good for it. But if you're after like a four wheeler swap or a go kart or something, I totally recommend a torque converter. They are insane. Another way to um, make a four wheeler go car mini bike faster is your sprockets. I, I mentioned a little bit about this before. Once again, it's just like the lawnmower bigger in the back, smaller in the front, equals slower, but it has more torque. Now, in this configuration, it's perfect because I have a, a different output from the motor. So, in this configuration with a clutch on it, I would not want to have a bigger one in the front. It would burn that clutch up like nothing. Um, you have to test them out or watch other videos or some of my videos cover some of this stuff. But, I don't know what size that is. It's probably a 5 inch sprocket in the back. And I would say the front one is a 1.5 inch sprocket. You're supposed to go by the teeth count, but I have no clue. Um... You can easily swap those around though. Like you'll see them, they sell different sprockets for mini bikes. You can get different speeds and torques out of them. Um, those are those are really simple. That is a uh, basic way to speed a mini bike or go kart up. And obviously, like I said before, your governor. Um, this is a governor on this size or this style of motor. Um, this one's actually still hooked up. That's right, it does 45 miles per hour with the governor. Who knows what it would do without a governor on it. Um, you can very easily just unhook this. There's that little metal rod I was talking about. You take your bicycle cable. And you just run it where the uh, the cable goes. And you can mount to that little metal plate. I don't feel like pulling the whole air box off and showing you guys. But super simple. You can speed your motor up doing that too. Same deal goes though. If you have no load on the motor. And you're just winding it up. It's going to blow up. Um... Well, I would say that's about it, guys. <laughs> I'm tired now. I'm trying to think of everything I want to list. Uh, okay, overhead valve motors. When you get the RPMs up high, you're going to hear a ping in the ways, and you might hear a kind of red line almost. Your valves. I promise you, as valve springs, this motor does it real bad. When I get the RPMs up, you get a really bad clatter. What happens is these are stock valve springs, so they're maybe, uh, I don't even know. I'm Maybe at 18 pound. I'm sure I'm way off on V twin, but it takes when the when the RPM gets that high, your valve doesn't come back quick enough, and when it doesn't come back quick enough, you get that ping. It's just kind of like there's nothing there, so you get you just lose it, and you kind of hear backfires and stuff. Um, they sell kits for these mo for that motor. This this is the same motor by the way. This motor, this motor, they sell kits for them. 
uh, there's different valve springs, and you can get higher RPM out of it. <sighs> With all that said, I want to thank you guys very much for watching this video. Hopefully, this will uh, answer some questions that people may have about making the lawnmower faster. I'm trying to. I, I tried to show you the cheapest way possible, the simplest way possible. Please leave a like below if this helps you. Uh, yeah, um, you may have noticed that I installed a ceiling fan on my shed. And if you look very closely, that is a zip tie balancing the the, the uh, completely wrong box for the fan up there. It works just fine. It's been up there for two weeks or so. I'm happy with it. Got a new stereo system for the shed because that one caught on fire. Literally. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one.